When people discuss a political spectrum, usually they're talking about a continuum from one end to the other of some kind. Uh, typically, it's the continuum from left to right. And they say that, well, at one end of the political spectrum, we've got the extreme left, and on the other end, we've had the extreme right. So, when you were in school or college, you learned that liberals are on the left and conservatives are on the right. You further learned that the Democrats are liberals and the Republicans are conservatives. Later in life, you began to realize what philosophical values Democrats were supposed to have and what philosophical values Republicans were supposed to have. This accomplished, you were now in a position to fight for one side of the political spectrum or the other every election. A progressive is someone who wants to find truth in the future. A conservative is someone who believes that truth is already known and that it can develop, but it, the truth known must not be discarded as one pursues new ideas. On the surface, both choices sound great. No wonder Americans campaign so vigorously for the Democrats or the Republicans every election. No wonder America is so dynamic and free. Or is it? The Democratic and Republican parties have been, for some time now, two wings of the same bird of prey. Uh, they both have uh, battened on federal programs and transfers of wealth and power to various corporations and institutions and individuals. And uh, neither, I think, has really been the conservative party that both of them were in the 19th century, in a way. 